all I'm playing right now is Hogwarts Legacy. Can we just say, what a game. This is such a game. You know what, I wasn't at all hyped at first when I saw this game announced and all of that. People have been talking a lot about it now leading up to the release and you know what, I heard it had early access so I just had to not miss out on this and I bought the Digital Deluxe two days prior to the release which was the early access window. I have done nothing else than playing this game. And I am not even a big Harry Potter fan to begin with. Tiny Outs and I, we gave a first impression on the podcast, link down below if you want to listen to that episode. And I am playing on the PlayStation 5, it performs perfectly, there is practically no load times, there's none of that. Tiny Outs was saying that there are tips and tricks on the loading screens, well I haven't seen one in the PS5 version, maybe once in my 30 hours playthrough so far. I'm not done with the game, I'm only 30 hours in and this is a big game is really big. So let me tell you a bit about the game. You create your character and the starting story and cutscenes feels like you are watching a movie, a Harry Potter movie. The graphics, the voice acting and everything is just so good, so polished. Now I wasn't very happy with the customization options in the beginning of the game. I felt like I couldn't get my character to look exactly how I would like them to sort of thing. I thought it was a a bit lacking but I grew to like my character the more and more I played. Also you have a ton of customization options later on with the actual clothes and the cape and the hats and the scarves but you know what sometimes I just feel like her facial expressions can be a bit tight her grain especially. Now you are playing as a student at this huge old school called Hogwarts if you didn't know that where you participate in various classes to become a great wizard and master the skills of potion making, spell casting, herbology and so much more. There's so many classes. Now outside of the school you have a massive gigantic open world and I'm sold already by hearing that. And here you can explore and do a ton of things. I mean, just look at this map. Now let's talk about the gameplay, like when you are actually starting out. You have main quests, of course, that will progress the main story of the game, which I recommend that you do and focus on until at least you get the broom. <laughs> at least. Push that main story until you get the broom and arguably also the lock picking spell. But keep in there, oh my god, with the broom you can finally fly around the world everywhere. That was a magical experience for me, you know what? When you got the broom and when I was flying for my first time, that was a religious experience for me. That was the highlight of my gaming so far this year. <laughs> getting that room. I unlocked mine after about seven hours I think and it is so worth it. So if you bought this game and ended up not liking it or quit it at some point, at least push through until you get the broom and we will talk. This game has so many quests and so many collectibles, secrets, easter eggs and references to the HP universe, cosmetics and there's just a lot of everything in the game. I very early on got a huge thing for collecting the field guide pages. <laughs> spamming that Revelio all over the place, all over the school and also out in the world. And this spell also highlights points of interest like chests and loot and stuff like that. And there are so many field guide pages. That is such a fun element to the game, collecting stuff like that. In the menus you can see your gear, your map, inventory and talents and all of that. But also there is a challenge tab and this is fun stuff. You can see your progression in percentages and get rewards for various feats that you have done and I am loving this, addicted to this. The menus overall they look very pretty, although they really remind me of Assassin's Creed kind of menus, very much so actually. Actually there are several comparisons that I can put towards Assassin's Creed, also with the sneaky gameplay and that you can take out enemies when they are not aware of you. That is also a style of gameplay that you can delve into in this game. You should always equip your best gear. Uh, currently this is my fashion statement and I mean if you join the discord you can post your fashion statement in the discord. We have our own channel about Hogwarts Legacy currently in the discord, link down below to that also. 
we're all about Hogwarts Legacy right now. For the most part, you are free to do almost whatever you want to, except for maybe in the starting hours of the game, where you kind of have to progress that main story a bit to unlock certain spells and stuff. But like I said, after you've got that broom, and maybe also upgraded that Alohomora lockpicking spell a bit, you are free to go and do whatever you want and explore the world. And it is so fun. You are losing track of real life and time. And I know what I'm talking about. 30 hours in already. In a few days, actually. <laughs> Time Lord over here. It is just so fun. I mean, riding that broom, watching that incredible sunrise and the sunset, and with the PS5 vibrations in the controller, it's like, it was almost as if I could feel that wind in my hair. Magical. Now the graphics, they are out of this world. First time arriving at Hogsmeade, this little town that's outside of the school area. Oh my god, I just had to lean back and take it all in for a moment. The attention to detail in every single shop, in the NPCs, it felt so lively. I don't think I've seen a world this lively before, you know, in a convincing way. It feels like I'm not even playing a game at this point. This is a world, this is a life, and I am shocked. And not even to mention the school, the actual school, Hogwarts. It is so big. You know what? I'm still getting lost in the corridors of this school. It is so big, it is so massive. I have no idea where anything is. And every single nook and cranny within this school, so many details, and nothing is copy pasted. And it's just such a school. <laughs> You know what? No room is the same in this game. No room. Every single location is unique, at least in the school and in Hogsmeade. Now you will unlock the room of requirement, or room of retirement as I call it. This is the place where you can actually customize it around a bit and, you know, put out furniture or statues or collectibles that you have actually collected around in the world. And you can magically place the stuff all around the place in this room. This is also where you can brew potions and grow some plants and decipher some gear that is uh, not deciphered. And you know what, guys? Actually, entering and leaving the school is seamless. The size of Hogwarts seen from outside is the actual size of the inside, if that makes sense. There's no loading screen going in and out of the school and out into the open world, and the size of the school, it is the exact size. I've never seen that in a video game before, I don't think, in this massive scale. I thought I would mention that. I've not seen anyone mention this, but that really impressed me. You can, of course, use fast traveling points, and like I said, there's no loading times, at least not on the PS5. Merlins, I haven't done mine either. Uh, what? Don't leave me here! Random encounters, they can happen anywhere. And they always make me stop at whatever I'm doing. And I'm finding myself listening in on other students' conversations all the time. And it is stuff like that, moments like these, that makes me go, is this even a video game at this point? I get so immersed. And there's also a ton of role-playing opportunities in this game if you're into that sort of stuff. I read on Reddit, actually go on Reddit sometimes, that people are already role-playing this game like crazy and that is so fun. Like, I mean, there are no consequences in being evil and answering in an evil way, but it's there for role-playing purposes. Now, Hogwarts Legacy has a real-time action combat with several spells that you also can combine together and create combos with. Combat feels so nice, very satisfying, and it gets better the more spells that you have unlocked, naturally. I'm loving the Dark Arts spells, and the magic just looks really good. The game also has several difficulty settings, and you can change between them at any time. So if the game is hard, change it down a bit. Too easy, change it up a bit. Combat is very satisfying. I'm actively seeking out combat because there are also challenges within, you know, defeating a certain amount of spiders or goblins or stuff like that. So it's just a lot of fun, that also. Verdict. Hogwarts Legacy is magical. 
that is my verdict. I am in awe, there's so much to do, it's like I'm living a whole separate life. Full praise to the developers of this game. Oh my god, these people are the best people. I can see that they have taken blood, sweat and tears into creating this game. They knew their source material and it must have taken them years. I can only imagine. Now this game is a hundred percent must buy and a 10 out of 10 if you are a Harry Potter fan to begin with. Absolutely. People are saying that this is the dream game when they are hardcore Harry Potter friends. And I mean, if you are not a Harry Potter fan, like me, I'm not a, you know, never considered myself a big fan. I liked the first and the second movie when I was like 10 years old, but <laughs> other than that, I'm not a huge fan. But this is still a game for RPG fans. Hell, I even think that this game is what could actually push people over that edge to become a Harry Potter fan. And Imagine giving this treatment to other huge fantasy universes like the Lord of the Rings. Put this development studio onto something like that. The world of Tolkien, oh my god, Middle Earth, with all the source materials that they have from that universe. Put this development team onto something like that. You could also do like Narnia universe or the Game of Thrones universe. <laughs> tons of source material to go through there as well. Now Hogwarts Legacy. If this game isn't a 10 out of 10, then I have to ask you, what do you want? Leave that down below. I'm hoping for a ton of DLCs for this game, a lot of support for this game going forward. I am having a wonderful time. Now join the Discord down below, hit like on this video and I'll be covering more Hogwarts Legacy really soon, so you should subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. People are saying this is their dream game when they are hard hard hardcore.